Mick Jagger may be an Arsenal fan but when the Rolling Stones play Liverpool's Anfield Stadium on June 9, he will roll out the Reds carpet for manager Jurgen Klopp. Klopp thought he had the Premier League in the bag at the weekend, but as 78-year-old Mick could have told him, you can't always get what you want, and the title went to Man City instead. As a consolation, when the Stones play Liverpool for the first time in more than 50 years, Klopp and his team have been invited along as special guests. A source close to the band said, Mick is a massive Arsenal fan and follows their matches. Liverpool beat them twice in the league and dumped them out of the Caribou Cup so he could be excused for holding a grudge. But he is so excited about playing such an iconic stadium and would to love to meet Dragon and the players. The source said Mick and the band had factored in time in their rehearsal schedule to watch the Champions League final between Liverpool and Real Madrid on Saturday. Mick and bandmates Keith Richards, 78, and Ronnie Wood, 74, are preparing for the first night of the European Tour in Madrid, Spain, next week. The Anfield show will kick off the UK leg of the 60 Tour, which marks the band's 60th anniversary and features two BST shows in Hyde Park, London. The Stones last played in Liverpool in March 1971, at the Empire Theatre. To mark the latest show in the city, they have unveiled a poster especially for the occasion. Whenever the Stones go on tour around the world, the band design a bespoke work as a tribute to the city where they are performing. The latest artwork features the Rolling Stones tongue motif morphed into a liver bird on top of the Royal Liver Building, in the city. The liver bird appears on the masthead of the Liverpool Echo, and takes pride of place on the logo of Liverpool Football Club. Football fan Mick said last week how he missed talking to drummer Charlie Watts about Arsenal. It is the Stones' first European tour without drummer Charlie, who died aged 80 in August. Mick said, I would have phoned him up and talked about last night's Arsenal game because he supported Tottenham and I'm Arsenal. But we're pretty sure Wild Horses could not make Mick play the Tottenham Hotspurs ground. For more information about the 60 Tour, go to rollingstones.com.